Five men have been charged with sexual abuse crimes against children across Pennsylvania. Acting Pennsylvania Attorney General Michelle Henry announcing today the men are all charged with sexual assault and sexual exploitation of minors. The Attorney General says in some cases the victims were members of their own family. No one from our area has been charged. All of the defendants and their victims were members of Jehovah's Witness congregations. Five people are facing charges tonight following a grand jury investigation into child sexual abuse. All of the men and their alleged victims were members of Jehovah's Witness congregations. Acting State Attorney General Michelle Henry made the announcement today calling the details of the alleged crimes disturbing. The details of these crimes are hard to listen to. But make no mistake about it. This office will do absolutely everything we can to hold these men accountable for what they did to these innocent children. These arrests follow charges filed against four other Jehovah's Witness members in October of 2022. Our office will never stop working to bring justice for those who have been victimized. We will continue to investigate and prosecute anyone who takes advantage and harms the most vulnerable in our society. 65-year-old Mark Brown of Allegheny County, 74-year-old Raymond Schultz of Beaver County, 51-year-old Kevin Isovich of Butler County, and two men from Lancaster County are all facing charges of assault and child endangerment. Five names announced today bring a total of nine people since October last year who are facing charges in connection to that investigating grand jury. The acting attorney general today said two men came from Lancaster County. We learned of several incidents of sexual assault committed by members of Jehovah Witnesses congregation. Acting AG Michelle Henry on Tuesday announced 42-year-old Abamayel Valentin Matos of Lancaster County was among those charged. In his case, the abuse was alleged to have happened more than a decade ago. It is alleged that Matos abused a 15-year-old girl who at the time was half his age, claiming that he intended to marry her. The acting AG also announced charges against 44-year-old Norman Aviles of Lancaster County, whom she said was an elder in his congregation and is accused of molesting at least three young children between the ages of five and 10. He was trusted to babysit and even act as a guardian to one of his victims. Court documents say some allegations against Aviles date back to the late 1990s. The acting AG says that Aviles remains at large while the other men named today are in custody. Prosecutors also wrote in court documents that one victim of Aviles reported abuse from another congregant, something that would be addressed in a future presentment. The acting attorney general of Pennsylvania announced child sexual abuse charges against five Pennsylvania men, two in Lancaster County, all members of Jehovah's Witnesses. Fox 43's Harry Lee reports on the repercussions for the organization. Disturbing and sad. Those are the words Acting Attorney General Michelle Henry used to describe alleged child sexual abuse committed by five Pennsylvania men. All are members of the Jehovah's Witness religion. Some of these defendants even use their faith communities to prey upon the victims. Two of the men charged were members of this Jehovah's Witness congregation in Lancaster. 44-year-old Norman Aviles Garriga is alleged to have molested at least three young children between the ages of five and ten in the late 1990s. He was an elder in the Jehovah Witness congregation, which allowed him to build a rapport with members. 42-year-old Abimel Valentin Matos is alleged to have assaulted a 15-year-old girl around 2011. The congregation was aware of his romantic interest in the girl, noting that they would approve of it if certain conditions were met, including the presence of a chaperone and the commitment to eventually marry her. Jehovah's Witnesses have an internal disciplinary system for complaints of child sexual abuse. It's unclear if they investigated these allegations, but the Attorney General's office says all charges stemmed from victims coming forward. Victim advocacy group SNAP says the organization itself needs to be held accountable. Officials within the faith that knew of this abuse did nothing. To me, that's complicit. And being complicit in crimes like these is sometimes as equal to the crime itself. 
Henry declined to comment on future charges, citing the ongoing investigation. Jehovah's Witnesses said in a statement, As Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses despise the mistreatment and abuse of anyone, especially precious children. While it is not appropriate to comment on cases pending before the courts, we want to express our concern for all victims of abuse, regardless of faith. We have a duty to protect children in Pennsylvania. These children deserve a community where they can grow, play, learn, and pray and not be preyed upon. And anyone with information regarding child sexual abuse is urged to contact Pennsylvania's Child Line at 1-800-932-0313. And we will have that number for you on our website. It is clear that over the decades, protecting children from abuse is a top priority for this organization.